So here's a uh, super quick video on how a two cycle engine actually works. So we'll start at BTC, which is uh, or BDC, which is bottom dead center. I'm sure you're uh, more familiar with top dead center, which is the very top of the stroke. Just like that, bottom dead center, as you probably guessed, is the very bottom of the stroke. And the stroke is basically uh, the uh, piston coming from the top to the bottom, or the bottom to the top. That's that's the stroke. So at bottom dead center, um, this is this has a plate over it, so it's a sealed system. And I've already cut this out, so you can see what's going on. But this is a sealed system here. So at bottom dead center, we have this uh, space here. And as the piston comes back up, since there is no air allowed to come into this space here, the piston comes up. And as the volume in the space increases, that naturally creates a vacuum. And as the piston gets up a little bit higher, and the intake uh, tube actually has the opening. The vacuum in there is what actually causes the carburetor uh, to suck air, fuel, and a little bit of oil into this space down here. Now as the piston comes back down and this space gets sealed off again, it compresses the uh, air, fuel, and oil mixture and creates a positive pressure in there so that gets all excited and uh, it wants to escape and as the piston comes down a little farther it opens the intake tube here or the valve there and that opening there actually connects all the way down to here so the positive pressure in here allows the gases to come up up through this chamber here and into the cylinder and as the piston comes back around again and comes back up it compresses the gases the spark plug fires and it creates an explosion in there which continues the piston on its merry little way and as we come back down the spent gas actually uh, comes out through the first port that opens there that's the exhaust ports down there they will allow the spent gas to come out through the muffler and a fraction of a second later the intake port opens and since this is still coming back down and it's happening so quickly the uh, positive pressure from here and this coming back down creates enough of a vacuum where the new gases come in and the piston goes down and back up again and ignites the uh, next set of gases which then in turn come down get expelled new gases come in and the cycle just continues over and over now just like on a four cycle engine uh, these do not fire at top dead center, they fire slightly after it. This is top dead center right here. This is actually where it fires. If you'll notice, uh, the coil is right here and the magnets come past the coil. And the uh, coil pretty much picks up where the magnets are and sends the current through the spark plug. And that is basically your timing and telling it when to fire. Now top dead center is about right there and you'll notice that the magnets are not at the coil yet. And where it actually fires is right there. There's top dead center. There's where it fires. So if we come and look at it here, there's top dead center and it fires slightly after that right there. And that ensures that everything continues going the same direction and it operates smoothly. So that's, that's the basics of how a two-cycle engine works. And it's very, very simple. There's a lot of advantages to two-cycle over four-cycle. Um, and there you go. Now you'll learn something new if you didn't know it already.